So today we are going to read those words again, or read them home again. We are going to hunt for our OW and our OU words. If you see it, I want you to give a secret signal. <laughs> you ready, Zach? It's not secret anymore. <laughs> it's not secret anymore, you're right. First graders, um, they are so excited to be here every day. They come in with their smiles on their faces. They're enthusiastic about their learning. They really focus on the connections that they make with their peers and their teachers. Um, and the growth, the growth that they make is tremendous. So it's really exciting to see those aha moments with first graders. Tell us all about your first grade teacher. She was very into making our learning fun, hands-on um, games and just upbeat. So for me, that stood out to me as I was going through school. And then there were a few more teachers, my fifth grade teacher, my um, high school algebra teacher, same kind of style, just more upbeat and making the environment fun. Um, so for me, that's where I feel like my teaching structure kind of came out and what I wanted to put into my classroom for my students and let them know that learning can be a lot of fun. It's not just hard work. So it sounded like early on you knew you wanted to be a teacher, but was it a straight path between first grade and becoming a teacher? By high school, I actually was on the path to wanting to get into pharmaceutical stuff. So I went to University of Chicago for, or University of Illinois in Chicago. Um, to become a pharmacist. And I did it for one semester and said, absolutely not, this is not for me. Um, and that's where everything changed and said, let's go back to where my heart really is with children. And I switched to North Central and went into education. You are pretty open with your students about the fact that you come from a divorced family. How does that assist you in helping your students when they talk to you about problems that might be occurring in their homes? I've noticed over the years, just being open and talking to my students about the different family dynamics has really opened up my students to talking to me about their family dynamics as well. Um, me being open and talking about how I have a stepmom, my parents are divorced, it opens up the door for the students to connect with me and to connect with their peers in those conversations. So it's for me, it's just more so being open with my students that we build those connections. Have you ever had a student come up to you and say, Mrs. Ike, when I grow up, I want to be just like you? Yes. <laughs> yes, I have. Um, which is a hard, like for me, it's a hard thing to hear because I am the hardest critic on myself. So sometimes I'm like, why? But then when I sit back and really think about the connections that are made with students and seeing these students excited and happy every single day. I don't know what kid wouldn't want to grow up and just be happy in their career. So it makes me excited to know that they want to become a teacher too.